Buzz, everyone. I'm your host, Sarah, and today I get to talk with Willie Harper. Hi, Willie. How are you? Hi. How are you doing today? I am good. And we're going to talk about both of Willie's companies, starting off with the Not Perfect T-shirt brand clothing company. So tell us a little bit about that and how you got started. Okay. So the Not Perfect clothing brand started when I was in college in about 2011. Okay. Um, me and a, a buddy of mine, Thomas McFarland, we were uh, between classes when we were going to Akron. You would kind of brainstorm like how to make shirts, the processes, mm -hmm. just like um, it was more like of a recreational thing at first, right. just something to do. And um, we we used to sketch and just like draw little designs and stuff. And then one design, it, it had Akron and it had like a little uh, like. The Miami Heat flare on one of the letters because okay. LeBron was playing for the Heat at the time. Okay. So we got some made for like personal use and we wore them out to the valley, the uh, bars, and like a couple people were like, well, you know, where did you get where'd that? Where'd you get that? It's yeah. Like, it's like we made it. And then, like, for real, I want one. And then it just like literally from that night, it was Went like, from there. It, it just never stopped. And that summer of 2011, we probably sold over a thousand t-shirts. Wow. So then we didn't even have a name to, for our company actually. <laughs> so like the Beacon had uh, made a um, article because LeBron had actually, I got a shirt to LeBron through Romeo Travis, a okay. good friend of mine. So he wore it and it went on social media and then it was like, it was Everything hard went to keep crazy. up. We had to yeah. make up a name on the fly. We had to make a website back then that we don't have anymore, but it just it just kind of was like, and then we made other little designs and stuff. And um, the the premise of the brand kind of just was just like no one's perfect, just like humbling designs with like good wholesome sayings on. Yeah. It. Um, and ten years later, still still doing still, it. Yeah, still selling clothes. I'm kind of known for it now in the city. It's like. They called me like Willie with the shirts. Oh, Willie with the shirts. Like, so, <laughs> That's you. I mean, you yeah, so it's, not, it's not a bad thing. So it, no. it's fun. It's definitely fun. And then now I, I make kid clothes and just T-shirts. And we kind of, our identity is like limited, limited amounts, limited drops, mm -hmm. like pop-up events. And just like, if you get it, you don't. And we don't really keep like big stocks and okay. stuff. And that's kind of been our, our identity for And you've expanded so. a little bit too. Um, yeah. I've looked on your website. You, do you have... You have like sweatpants yes, and sweatsuits, um, sweat hats, yeah. socks. Um, we moved uh, production overseas probably like three years ago. Okay. Which, um, I mean, it's 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 more cost efficient. Um, sure. And you, we can get more stuff made. Um, so it's 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 definitely finding a good vendor overseas is definitely key for like people that want to start yeah. a brand. Your your kids' clothes are really cute too. I've Thank seen you. some of those um, you. on your Instagram. Well, since and, I um, mentioned Instagram, go ahead and share what that okay. is and so the, the shop link. Okay, so the Instagram is at Not Perfect Brand, all one word. And okay. Then the you can currently shop at Not Perfect Brand dot Big Cartel dot com. Perfect. And there's a link to that on the Instagram, yep, so yep. people can find you there. Yep. And and another thing. Um, we love the mar I love the marketing piece of it. Yeah. Like I think that's the one of the most fun parts of just any business. So mm -hmm. the photo shoots, we have like a ball doing photo shoots. That's what kind of like is the fun part of making yeah. clothes to me. Photo shoots and just interacting with people and the networking. Yeah. That, so do you still stuff. design all of the stuff yeah. yourself or do you have other people that So I have a graphic designer, okay. um, Sean Douglas right now and he actually um will sketch stuff together mm -hmm. and then he'll um do the computer aspect of it, the right. Photoshop, the Illustrator, and then we come up with a graphic. And then at that point, you know, we send it to the vendor, you know what I mean? And they, the manufacturer, actually. Right. The manufacturer, and then we bring it to life. So, I love that. Yeah. So you said you met in college. Did you study this kind of thing or did you end up studying something different and then just <laughs> fell into this? Yeah, so I have no business degree. I'm actually a social work major. Oh, okay. I got my bachelor's in social work. Wow, nice. Minor in family development. Are you still doing that um, work I as have, well? I'm a licensed social worker right now. Okay. I've been working in the field about 13, oh God, about 12 years. Okay. Um, and right now I'm not currently working as a social worker, but my license is still active. Great. But I'm kind of... Deciding what you want to come yeah, back to. Yeah, the business has been kind of going pretty good. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I don't have to work anymore. That's the <laughs> nice. goal. That's the goal. You know, it's been a year since I punched the clock. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So work in your businesses. And so you actually started a second business yep. as well called Life's Good Moving and Handy Services. Yep. So tell us a little bit about that. 
So Life's Good Moving kind of came about um, five years ago. We bought a, I bought a cargo van. It was really random. It was really cheap. <gasps> okay. Um, so when I get off my nine to five, I just post little stuff like you need couches moved. And right. I'm, I ain't gonna say I'm a popular person, but I'm pretty known a little bit. So. Mm -hmm. It was through I was the clothing a company. Of, you were already known. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's just like I started doing little small moves, yeah. and then people would ask to do bigger moves. But I only had a cargo van, so what we were doing back then was I would rent a U-Haul, and then I quoted in the price, and right. we would just move them. You know, then um, when I stopped working a year ago, um, bought a, a big box truck along with the same cargo van. And right. I have a pickup truck too, and we've been doing like pretty large moves. Um, we actually got to move Rich Paul, which is a LeBron's agent. We moved oh, really? to, um, in Cleveland last nice. year. Nice. So, yeah, That's we've awesome. Been, we've been trusted. We're licensed, bonded, and insured. Um, and I'm actually looking to get a new truck, hopefully by the end of the year, a bigger one, box truck. Yeah, I think that's really cool that you do both like the small things and the large things, because yeah. I think most moving services do just like the large, the large moves yeah. and i love seeing things like hey if you need help putting together your trampoline i remember oh, seeing yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll come out we'll do that we'll quote yeah. you a price if you need help moving your couches mm -hmm. we'll do that so um yeah. i think that sets you guys apart a little bit which is yeah. really cool now um, i mean it, it's been some um a lot of learning it's mm -hmm. not as easy as i thought it would be just moving people stuff sure. breaks sure. i've replaced stuff before but what i've learned is as long as you're honest you replace people's stuff, good customer service, like, yeah. and that, and you, you fix the issues immediately. You don't, you don't totally. argue with customers, right. like all that good stuff. And I think my social work background kind of taught me how to just deal with people. Mm -hmm. Like, so I think that's like a little edge I have, like, cause people always say, you're so nice. Even, you know, <laughs> even, you know, even if a challenge arose, like we right. still got through it. So, so how can people find that company if they're interested in using you guys for a move? Okay, so we're right, right now we have a Facebook page. Okay. I'm um, a business page, Life's Good Moving and Handy Services. I have a domain name. We're building that website too. Okay. We're still kind of growing. Um, no, that's fine. But definitely. People can find you though, Facebook. Oh, yeah, for sure. Great. For sure. And then yeah. they just private message you? Yep, you can message the business page and Great. you can quote right through there. Great, that's yeah. wonderful. All right, I'm going back to the clothing company because okay. um, I know you mentioned how you can shop off of the link on Instagram, yep. but I thought this was really cool too. If you want to go actually see some of the clothing in the store, mm -hmm. there is a place on Arlington called Dead Stock Heat, right? Yep. Is that yep. what it's called? Yep. And they're a shoe resale place, yep. but they carry some of your clothing. Yep. So. They have a lot of local, they have a couple local brands in there. It's 1501 South Arlington, they're very good Great. people. In, you can even, if you have some older shoes that you think might be worth something, you can Take also, them yep, and they'll give you cash for them if, That's awesome. if they find them worth. All right, and people yeah. can go check out your clothes in person if they want to. Yeah. Um, I know some people are like weary of just ordering stuff. right off yeah. Instagram, so I want to see it. So um, that's a good way that they can go do that as well. All right. Well, thank you so much. This thank was so you. fun. I love both your company ideas and I hope they just take off even more. Thank you. I hope so too. Yeah. I, I know mean, you're going to get those websites up and running. You said both of them are like a little more than working, halfway yeah. there, almost yeah, the there. The brand is almost, it's, it's about, yeah. it's almost done. I'm just, I'm an OCD. So. All right. Perfect. Yep. But until then, people can find you guys on Instagram for the clothing brand and on Facebook for the moving, uh, the moving company. company. Perfect. We'll put all that up on the website as well for you guys. Okay, cool. Go ahead and let's oh. lift up those t-shirts and show people. Tell me about this t-shirt. Um, this shirt is <laughs> actually, um, we did a series of um, sports figures that we felt like had not perfect moments in their sport careers. And this nice. is actually Bob Knight. He's a very famous coach, college coach. He had a little frustrating moment there, throwing a chair. <laughs> throwing a chair. Um, and then, um, this is just an uh, ooh, abbreviation, yeah, mm -hmm. abbreviation of not perfect, just missing the vowels. And something cool we've done. With I like that. Very colorful, you know, has the um, Letterman patching on it. So yeah, yeah. I really very like popular that one. shirt. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for being here with us today on Akron Buzz. We appreciated okay. having you. Thank you guys for being here with us on Akron Buzz today. We hope that you follow us on Facebook. Facebook, I'm losing my words here. We hope you follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and make sure you check out our brand new Roku channel. We'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.